Hey everyone, uh, that, what you just heard, was the main guitar solo to Smile On Me by Jimmy Page, uh, a track from Page's one and only album with the Yardbirds, 1967's Little Games. Some out there would say that this solo is Jimmy's greatest early pre-Zeppelin guitar solo, and I am not going to argue with that assertion. It does tend to show up on most lists with regards to the topic at hand. Now, it's just a 24-bar blues solo filled with classic blues licks. However, one can really hear Jimmy's fearless development and style starting to shine through here on this solo. It's got that fire and reckless attack that Jimmy would uh, become so well known for just a few short years later. Fuzz and distortion were still pretty much in their infancy at this point in rock and roll history, and Jimmy used it to full effect with this solo. It is absolutely fuzzed the hell out on the recording. Really difficult to pick apart what he was doing, but uh, I slowed it down a lot and, and gave it my best shot. Now, the solo is, like I said, a blues solo for sure, uh, but few guitarists at the time were playing them with this kind of noise and fuzz and distortion and recklessness, uh, and even fewer were bending notes one and a half and even two steps up the fretboard. Uh, it was definitely making a mid-60s guitar statement, and uh, these were the types of things that would go on to be a huge part of Page's guitar style in the future with Led Zeppelin. Now, to be fair, I, I suppose there was Jimi Hendrix as well uh, doing these sorts of things, but he himself was just getting started on his own guitar journey in and around the same time in 1967. Anyway, just a fantastic early Jimmy Page solo for you to learn and to learn from. Lots of good stuff here to steal. Uh, I pulled some great lick ideas out of it myself. Uh, regardless, enough chit-chat. Uh, today, as per a request from one of my subscribers, Juke Vox, hey Juke, uh, we're going to have a look at how to play it. Uh, but just before we do, sorry about this, uh, I should mention that there is also an outro solo that I will not be touching upon as it's it's pretty much a rehash of a lot of the same licks and ideas as the main mid-song solo that we're going to have a look at today. Should this video gain any traction, uh, maybe we'll dig into the outro solo as well. Uh, anywho, let's close in here and get started, yeah? All right, smile on me, Jimmy Page and the Yardbirds. And uh, we are working in the key of uh, G, G minor. And uh, I'm first going to run through the main lick, the main, not the main lick, the main riff of this song, so you know how to play the whole thing. Uh, pretty simple 12-bar uh, blues type stuff, and it goes something like this. <laughs> pretty much the whole thing except for the solo. So uh, double hit at the third fret of the uh, low E string. Down to its octave at the fifth fret of the D. Off to the third fret of the D string. Back onto the fifth fret for a double hit. Repeat. Down to C as per usual in a 12-bar blues in G. Same thing, just now we're on the A and the G string. Now, before you go back to G, instead of double hitting that fifth fret of the G, go, go uh, fifth fret of the G up to fifth fret of the D. And now back into G again, repeat the same thing. And then we move up to D. And then when we're in D, we do the same thing. We roll on the uh, on the sevens instead of hitting that note on the seventh fret of the G twice. Instead of doing this, you're going to roll up on the uh, up to the D string. Back to C, and then back to G, and then repeat.
So pretty simple stuff there. And now this solo, uh, this is going to be fairly easy to teach because, uh, you know, it wasn't easy to learn, but it's, it's going to be easy to teach because it's licks. It's blues licks, and then there's pauses between each one. So uh, I, I can just go through this lick by lick by lick by lick by lick all for all 24 bars of this solo. So uh, let's get started. Like I said, we're, we're using the G pentatonic uh, for the most part when we're down here on the neck. And then when we, we, when we move up to uh, the octave uh, box of the, uh, the G minor, up here at the 15th fret, uh, we start getting into little uh, Dorian type uh, shapes using the blue note as well. You know, the pentatonic uh, on the, on, you know, you know, on the bottom four strings. Uh, and when you get into the dory and you start using that note there on the, uh, what's that, the 17th fret of the B. And then the blue note here on uh, 18 of the G. We start getting into those as well, and uh, you know, tried and true blues licks. And uh, so anyway, the first lick, I'm not going to, uh, this is such a, a reckless type of solo with a lot of notes. I'm not going to pick apart every single fret number by fret number, note by note. I'm gonna play each lick, play it slowly, uh, and you should be able to, uh, uh, you know, where we're at on the fretboard, what uh, kind of pentatonic position, and it uh, shouldn't be too hard to figure out but uh, we slow these licks down. So we're starting in the little uh, extension box, kind of, or maybe position, what you call position two of the pentatonic. I don't really play by positions, but, uh, you know, I just kind of know my pentatonic and I know the fretboard. But uh, I guess this is position two, what I call the extension box of the pentatonic. Right in there on the uh, sixes and eights. into the main box. Let me get rid of my delay here. We don't need delay on this. There we go. So here's the first lick. That's the first lick. We're on the eighth fret, hitting that like three times. And that last note, you're just touching it before you kill it. with a little double pull-off from eight to six. And then fast. Kind of like that. And, you're, and then, like I said, that last note, you, you barely hear it. And then the second lick. And that's uh, on eight again, staying in the same box. Step and a half bend. Release. And that's the second lick. Third lick. Same box. that uh, pre-bend there. Full step, release. A little double hit there on eight of the G, of the B, sorry. So up to that point, uh, you know, at a relaxed pace here. this. The next lick, we're up on to the uh, 10th fret of the high E. Full step bend, a little trill between 8 and 10 back to 8. And then we're into this lick. And this lick is, and we're back in this box again. quicker and 
finishes with three very quick little hits. And then this classic blues licks. Back here up on the eight again of the B. Bend of the 10 of the high E. Back to the natural note and then back to the eight. So up to that point. This lick. Back into the first position of the pentatonic. A little quicker. And then we're into this. Sliding into 9 of the G, down to 8, another full step bend at 10, a little triple hit there on 8, and then you just kind of repeatedly, continually hit that note there. And that's pretty much the first 12 bars. Let's run through that. And now we're into the second 12 bars. Let me run through this uh, slowly. kind of a slowed down version of the second 12 bars of this solo. So we're on the 15th fret of the B string. Four step and a half bends. And then this next lick is quite crazy and played very fast and loose and uh, but it kind of goes like this and it's got one bad note in it but uh, that's all right it's Jimmy Page. That note. He's got a little half step bend here. He's up on um, he's up on the 18th fret and he's got that kind of bent a half step and he's just you know he's playing so recklessly that it's not a very good note but it works. Uh, yeah there it is. And he, so he's got the 18th fret here of the B string kind of like a little half step bend. You know this is the the pentatonic box the main pentatonic box in this position. And that is not a note in the pentatonic. It's not really a note in anything. It's kind of a, maybe it's a note in the uh, the harmonic minor, but I think it's a mistake actually. So he's hitting that, and this is where he's getting into kind of little Dorian blue blue note flavor. So coming out of this. doing a little pull-offs here uh, from 18 to 17 to 15 on the B and the G with that first off note and then a double hit at uh, 17 of the D and that's the whole lick played very recklessly and fast. Finishing with a little pre-bend there. And 
and at speed. That one's uh, it's tricky to play, actually. So, but it's a great blues lick. And now we're into the next lick. Kind of like that. I think I missed a note in there. Let's do that again. That's it. That's another great blues lick. So uh, to begin that lick, uh, kind of interesting. He's going 15. He's grabbing the 17, giving it a half step bend. And then he's grabbing uh, 18, giving it a full step bend. And then he's going way up to like a step and a half, two step on the uh, 18. Full step and then like a two step. Right about there. finishes the lick. And he's got that little roll going on the uh, on the blue note there at the 18th fret. And that's another tough lick to play at speed. And then we're into this lick. That's just all pentatonic. One more time. to this. Now we're up onto the D string at 17. Pretty easy there, just in the 15-17 box. And then we're into some big bends. Yeah, that's two-step bend. Uh, and we're on now we're on 15 of the G. Three full three two-step bends. Off to 12, back on to 15. And then again. And then off to a double hit at 12. So the first one, back to 15. And then again. And then one final time. And the final one. Let's run through that whole outro solo at a nice relaxed pace. playing not by me <laughs> by Jimmy Page uh, but uh, you know maybe the playing was okay by me but uh, the, the composition was pages and uh, great blues licks there to uh, to learn from to borrow and steal and use in your own playing uh, great solo from Jimmy Page and the Yardbirds from Smile on Me I certainly hope that helped you out uh, Duke Fox good luck with it and uh, drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already. And uh, these, what, what's going on here with these things? Let, let's get rid of those. Oh, I had them wrapped around my neck, choking myself. Uh, anyway, I hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world. And you guys take care of yourselves and those around you. And uh, have fun playing. And good luck with that. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. <laughs>